British Prime Minister Boris Johnson is once again facing calls to step down. That's right. Johnson's leadership is under new scrutiny after an exodus of Tory party members. More than 30 British lawmakers, including two key cabinet secretaries, have left their posts. Their departures come as the prime minister apologizes for appointing a senior level official who'd been accused of sexual misconduct. Despite the upheaval, Johnson says he's not going anywhere. When times are tough and when the country faces pressures on uh, the economy uh, and pressures on their budgets, Mr Speaker, that is exactly the moment that you'd expect a government uh, to continue with its work. Mr Speaker, the job of a Prime Minister in difficult circumstances when he's been handed a colossal mandate is to keep going. And that's what I'm going to do. Let's bring in CBS News foreign correspondent Roxana Saberi now, who was outside 10 Downing Street in London. Hi, Roxana. So you heard him there. He said he's going to keep going. He sounds pretty resolute. But Boris Johnson has already faced intense backlash for hosting an office party in violation of his own COVID restrictions. At that point, his fellow conservatives voted to keep him in office. Uh, but there are rules that cannot be that there cannot be two no confidence votes in a year. Right, uh, Roxana? Can lawmakers change those rules if they feel it's necessary? Tanya, they could change those rules. They could rewrite those rules, but that move would prove controversial within the Conservative Party itself. But if that were to happen, and if there could be another vote of no confidence even within the next few days, it's unclear whether Boris Johnson would survive that vote like he did just last month when there was a previous vote of no confidence. Some MPs who voted in his favor last time have said they wouldn't do the same this time. But Johnson is coming under increased pressure to to resign as the resignations in his party pile up. As of now, at least 32 members of his party have resigned, including 15 ministers. Some of them have said they need to defend their personal integrity and party values. The two key resignations, though, were by his cabinet ministers last night, Rishi Sunak, the finance minister, and the health minister, Sajid Javid. He spoke today in parliament. He called on his colleagues to also resign. Tanya? And Roxana, it's Elaine. I'm wondering, given this latest controversy, what's been the reaction from the public? Well, a poll came out just last night, the, a YouGov poll, after the two cabinet ministers resigned, and it found that 79% of respondents also want Johnson to resign. This is a record high for the YouGov poll. Also significant, for the first time, a majority of conservative voters want Johnson to resign. Also a reflection of Johnson's waning popularity. Just last month, there was a by-election to fill vacant seats in Parliament, and the Conservatives lost two key seats, which is an ominous sign for Johnson and his party. I talked to a friend today who is a member of the Conservative Party. He said he wants Johnson to resign. When I asked him why, he said, because we want honesty and competence, and we aren't seeing that in the prime minister. You know, the BBC has called Johnson a legendary escape but we'll see if he can escape this scandal this time. Mm -hmm. Elaine and Tanya? Yeah, Roxana, that certainly would seem to be uh, quite a feat, uh, given all the pressure and the lack of support from it, sounds like, all quarters. All right, Roxana Saberi, Roxana, thank you very much.